Sister Campbell stood at the front of the chapel and waited, her long hair in its usual plait, dangling past her bottom like the tail on a coonskin cap. Long hair can be beautiful, but there's something taxidermical about Sister Campbell's plaited rope. A couple of years ago, there were some polygamists from Texas on the news, and the women all had long hair and high, stern foreheads. They looked as if they might break if they laughed. They looked like Sister Campbell. Zippy hovered by the chapel doors while she waited for Adam Carmichael to sit. He plonked himself on the front row beside his dad, and then he turned and waved and patted the empty space on the pew beside him. She hurried to the front, and Mum and Dad followed. Brother and Sister Campbell were supposed to present Standards Night together. That's the way it works. But Brother Campbell only spoke for five minutes at the end to remind the boys that porn is everywhere, online and in the next catalogue. Sister Campbell spent the majority of the night talking about the things girls need to know. Stand up, please, girls, she said after the opening prayer. Before you go out every morning, you must check your clothes. You can do this by singing head, shoulders, knees and toes in front of the mirror. Tonight you can practice in front of the young men and your parents. Zippy's t-shirt rose when she raised her hands and she wondered whether Adam could see her bare skin. It slipped back down as she touched her shoulders, but she felt it lift again as she bent to touch her knees, and while her hands were resting on her toes, Dad murmured, You'll have to get rid of that top. I can see your back. When she sat down, there seemed to be less space on the pew, and her leg ended up pressed against Adam's. He leaned in to whisper, You look cold. And then, while Sister Campbell talked about the importance of subjecting skirts to the sit-down test and the sunlight check, he rubbed his hand along her goose-bumped arm, which wasn't in the slightest bit helpful, as he had made her shiver in the first place. Girls who choose to be modest choose to be respected. If you check your clothes every day before you go out, you will never be walking pornography. I'm sure none of you want to be responsible for putting bad thoughts into men's heads. Please, think about the men. Sister Campbell said. So Zippy did. She thought about men. With Adam's thigh pressed up against hers and his warm fingers rubbing her arm, it was hard to think of anything else.